to Football Manager 2018 with FC Groningen. We are in and out of the January transfer window. We're on the 2nd of February. We haven't really done a huge amount of business, but I did bring in one player. I think I just... Well, no, it was, it, was more than, it was way more than one player. One player of that you've heard of, and that is Josh Timmon. He has joined on loan for the rest of the season from Stoke. He's cost me a little bit of money, but I thought, we need a left-back, and he's actually pretty good as a left-back, so I thought I'd bring him in. The next player to join is Marko Ruzmir, an 18-year-old Serbian striker and midfielder. He's definitely not a midfielder. He has come in for... what well, I can't even remember. It was a large number. It was a big number. 900? 800k. There you go. He's come in from Partizan. Decent-looking player. Probably isn't going to get a huge amount of games for us. Next up is the wonderfully named American goalkeeper, Kurt Bravo. He's joined for a small fee from Real Salt Lake. Once again, much like pretty much all the players that I've signed, he needs to get some football and he's not going to get it with us for the first couple of years, maybe. Next up is 19-year-old Ivorian centre-back, Stefan Seri. And he is um, an example of why you don't trust your scouts. They said he was really good. So I've spent 190k on him. He's not very good. A player who is very good, though, is Amadou Keita, Malian midfielder, 19 years old. He can also kind of play up front, although looking at his current stats, he's definitely a central midfielder. Three-star current ability, five-star potential ability. I don't know whether he's going to get a huge amount of games, but for £15,000, he is an absolute bargain. And the final player to join is Kwame Abubakar, Ghanaian attacking midfielder. He's joined and immediately gone out on loan to SC Camber. He's also playing in the African Cup of Nations for Ghana. He's joined, again, he's one of those players, I'm not going to play him for a year or two, but he's there for when he does get better. And yes, the final player on the list there is Josh Timmon, who has a loan fee. So we've spent £2.7 million now in total. Some players have gone out on loan as well. Jonas Meffert is probably the biggest name of them all to go out on loan. He's gone to Hanover in Germany. Abu Bakr, as we've just mentioned, gone to SC Kamba. Willem Twe have loaned Kaspar Kas- Oldenberger. Ezekiel Unsane, the uh, sub-goalkeeper, or third-choice goalkeeper now, technically. He's gone on loan to KV Mechelen in Belgium. And Mohamed Alkani has also gone on loan to Belgium, and this time he has gone to Antwerp. Since the last episode, we've played a total of five useful games and two friendlies because of the weird mid-season break. And before the mid-season break, we weren't very good. We played Feyenoord in the Dutch Cup, and it went 180 minutes, 180, 120 minutes, 180 minutes, that's a lot of minutes, 120 minutes, went all the way through to penalties. We ended up losing, I think it was like 8-7 on penalties. Casper uh, Larsson with the vital penalty miss for us. Julian Green gets us a goal right near the end. We were unlucky not to go through in this one. And then the final game before the uh, mid-season break against FC Utrecht. And the less we say about this, the better. A 3-0 defeat. Van der Streek, Abbas and Van der Meer with the goals. We were terrible. And that is our second home game where we've lost 3-0. Christmas out of the way and then we go back into league football. And we start the year off with three wins in a row. First up against SC Camber, a 2-0 victory. Julian Green and Edith Ibergeren with the goals there, giving us three points. Next up was FC Emmen, and we were not very good in this game, and we got very lucky. We were 2-0 down after 32 minutes. Osayaman, Osaway, sure, on the 21st and 32nd minute, then Edith Ibergeren on the 33rd minute, then the 64th minute, then the 74th minute, getting himself a hat-trick. They pulled one back through Jakob Wersniak, Wozniak, sure. Julian Green gets the winning goal just before the 80th minute. Edis Ibergeren is a hero at the moment in this save. And then finally, a very, very, very big victory against Feyenoord, who have only lost, I think, two games all season or something stupid like that. And that was one of them now against us. A 4-1 victory. We went 1-0 down. Czech Torre with the goal on 14 minutes. Then we pulled one back. Nicholas Friere on 17. James Taylor then gets one on 25. Dino Hotic on 76. And then Edis Ibergeruin finishes off the route in the 83rd minute, making it 4-1. And that means the league table is a lot better reading now. We are now up into sixth place in the table. We have kind of clawed back all of our games that we seem to have dropped from playing in the Europa League. PSV haven't, but we've, we're have we pretty much there. Today, then, we are going to have two matches, and they are going to be two vitally important games. First up is going to be Vitesse, who are actually below us now in the table, and then PSV 
in potentially a game that was rearranged for the Europa League, or maybe that's the next game when we play PSV in the league, which you won't see in an episode. Can we keep our good start to the year continuing up against Vitesse? Vitesse, I think, started the season really well, but for some reason they've dropped off quite substantially because I think they beat us yeah they start the season off probably with about eight of those nine wins in a row but they've now lost seven games out of 21 three points here would be really handy actually because three points would put us on 37 which may move us up into third the starting lineup we are going to go for is going to be Sergio Pat in goal there was a lot of interest in Sergio Pat during the January transfer window we kept hold of him I reckon in the summer he will leave but Christian Lasso, or Lasso is a very, very good goalkeeper, so I'm not too concerned. If we can get a huge amount of money for him, which I think we might, that's going to be a good piece of business. Back four of Dejean Dakenham, Kasper Larsson comes in for the suspended, uh, what's his name, Toivio, he's, he's been booked a lot, so he's been suspended. Nicholas Friere is also there, Josh Timon is getting a game as well. He loves the yellow card, I think he's had three games, three yellow cards so far. Midfield pairing of Christian Friedek and Joshua Anoma, just... So you know, we might be getting Joshua Anoma for another year. Tottenham have accepted the fact that we want him for another season, so it's all down to Josh whether he wants to do it as well. Also, why do I do this? They're the wrong way round. Swap you over. That's much better. There we go, you're both natural there. On the wing is Dino Hotic and Julian Green. Seku Karamoko and Edis Ibaguran are the two strikers. Karamoko keeps complaining that he doesn't get enough chances to play. When I play him, he's not very good. So he'll probably play till half-time. If he hasn't scored, he's getting subbed for James Taylor. I was saying that this season hasn't started off very well, and it didn't. There was a huge like patch in the... Well, not in the middle, right at the start of the season, where we did not win a league game for about eight games. So we won the first league game, and then there was a whole load of defeats and draws all in a row, which meant we dropped all the way down the table. We've now clawed them back quite nicely, which has put us back up into sixth. I mean, is Europe out of the question? I don't think it is because of the weird way we do qualifying for Europe in Holland. Corner for Hotic. Larsen's at the front post. Friere's there. Anoma heads on. Friere nearly scored, but it was cleared off the line. Straight after the, the shot, there was a goal kick over the halfway line. Josh Timmerman with a header. Friedek. Julian Green. We've got quite a lot of English-speaking players now. Iba Gruen in the middle is Karamoko. Seku Karamoko is not going to get there. Beerines isn't going to get there either. Josh Timmon to Friedek, who I assume can speak English. Green, Karamoko out to Jean Dakenham. Crossed in by Dakenham. Iba Gruen's there. Van der Steen makes the save. Beerines with the ball for Vitesse. Where is he going to go? In the middle. Friedek cuts out. Goes from outside the area. Hits it just wide. We are knocking on the door. There is a goal. Just about to happen for us, I'm sure of it. Van der Werth with a throw. Green intercepts, Van der Werth gets it back. Forward to Matavs, Josh Timmon makes the tackle. Anoma, Friedek. Friedek cuts through two players, gets fouled, keeps going though. Karamoko, Hotic nicks the ball. Karamoko steals it from Iber Gruen and hits the top of the bar. We need to convert one of these chances. We've had 10 shots, 4 on target, and so far we haven't scored. One chance for Vitesse and only one chance. But the way we seem to play, that's all it takes is just one chance and they'll score. It looks like we are going to go in at half time nil nil, despite the fact we've had now 11 shots to their two. It's a bit disappointing, but I don't know. Do I change anything? I don't think I change anything. I think I stick with it for now. We're going straight out for the second half. There's been no changes just yet. I was tempted to bring off Karamoko, but he has had probably our best two chances so far. Timon with a throw, Iba Gruen, Timon gets it back, crossed in, cleared only as far as Josh Anoma. Out to Dakenham, first time pass to Hotic, gets tackled, and this is the worrying part. Kasper Larsen wins ahead of Friedek, Anoma, little weird back heel to Hotic. Hotic has got Dakenham to his to his left, behind him, maybe, Friere, Friedek. That's the one thing that annoys me, I can see passes, but they don't seem to do them. Josh Timon crossed in first time, not the best cross. Leovac. Clears it upfield. Anoma intercepts out to Julian Green. Timmons making a run if he can find it. Doesn't want him. Friedek instead. Josh Anoma. Ball forward. Doesn't get very far. Gets the ball back. Dakenham. Dakenham to Hotic. Hotic in the middle. Julian Green's at the back. He's at the post. And it's gone out for a corner. We are so close to scoring a goal. And I just don't think it's going to happen. Friedek to take the corner. To the middle. Cashier gets it clear. Only as far as Hotic. 
Friday would like it back. Or that'll happen. Karamoko's had an effort and Van der Steen makes a save. I'm going to encourage them. Karamoko's probably going to come off. He's on a 6 point. He's looking nervous. He's looking nervous. He's on a 6.4. Which means we're probably going to... Uh, let's go James Taylor. I mean, we have that uh, the Rosemere guy. He's on the bench. But he's not... He, he's good. But he, I don't think he's adapted to the league just yet. Hotic with a corner. In the middle, Julian Green's not going to get there. Frydeck closing the clearance down. Crossed back to Hotic, the corner taker. First time cross, Julian Green's at the back. Julian Green on the head. Dino Hotic with the assist. Makes it 1-0. We've finally got the goal. Julian Green, we're up to third, just so you know. Julian Green is one of those players. He's scoring a hell of a lot of goals all of a sudden. I don't really know where it's come from, but I'm not complaining. 70 minutes on the clock since the goal. We've had nothing happen. So far, Vitesse have not had a single shot on target. I want to change something, but I don't know what. Is it Josh Anoma? Are you the are you the one? Mate, uh, yes, Tronson. Tronson is another player who almost left. I think PSV were after him, but I was trying to squeeze out a little bit too much money for him. So he's still here. Ten minutes of normal time to play. Vitesse are rolling all their dice, although they're changing defenders and defence midfielders. So I think they might be happy just losing 1-0. Four minutes of injury time, not a lot is happening. Friedex got a free kick just outside the area, has a go in the back of the net. It's 2-0, that is surely game over. Christian Friedek, I don't know how many goals he scored this season, I don't think it's a lot, but that is looking like a good win. Well over the 94 minutes of injury time, it's going to end 2-0 unless we get something from this, which we probably won't. But that that's put us up into third place in the table, depending on how results go. That... That is a huge turnaround. That is a massive turnaround. We are up into third. There are two teams behind us who in theory could catch us. The only one realistically right now is here in Veen. They have a game in hand. They don't have a game in hand. We have the same amount of games. So we are oh, we are legit third. We're legit third somehow. We are nowhere near the PSV game, but we have a bit of Europa League stuff to deal with. We can register our squad. So, we obviously, some players have left. Let's just do auto, see what changes. The squad has been sorted, and there's going to be a few players that might get a bit annoyed. So, I've added Karamoko and Josh Timmon. Anders Tronson has been removed because he doesn't play enough, really. I suspect Marco Rosmir going to get very annoyed. Possibly even um, Abdou Diakite, he might get annoyed as well. I mean, quite a lot of them shouldn't be, because they're fringe players anyway. Well, there's four players that are annoyed. So, Rosmir, Bolhalder, Keita and Sacco. Great. We're still not at the PSV game and I've got some transfer news for you. Jarno Janssen is a Dutch central defender currently at Sheffield United. He's joining us at the end of the season on a free transfer. Basically, because of the whole Europa League thing, I realise we don't have a huge amount of Dutch players. He's actually not a bad one and he's free. So, in he's come. And Josh Anoma is extending his loan deal for another season. Welcome back for the second match of the episode against PSV. Now, this isn't our game in hand against PSV. This is just a game against PSV. We've dropped down to fifth because AZ Alkmaar and Rhoda JC have all won their games, which will put them on to 40 points. If we win against PSV, we'll move back ahead of them. Simple as that, really. If we lose to PSV, PSV will leapfrog us and we'll drop down to sixth. The starting lineup we are going to play at the Philips Stadion is going to be Sergio Pat in goal. Dakenham, Toivio returns to the starting 11. Friere and Josh Timmon. Friedek and Anoma are the two central midfielders. Dino Hotic and Green are the wingers. And Ibe Gurren is going to be partnered by Tom Van Viert today. I'm giving Tom Van Viert a game purely because Karamoko hasn't been that good. Uh, James Taylor on the bench has been told that he's he's only just returned from injury. So I'm thinking if we give Van Veert a game, he's an influential player. He's been moaning that he's not getting any games. Giving him a game against PSV, maybe he, he'll prove to me why he should be getting some games. There is a big concern over Van Veert because he is... He's not match fit. Not even close. Six minutes on the clock and we have some action. Hotic with the ball. Friedek. Ball over to Dejean Dakenham, runs towards the penalty area, crossed in low, Van Veert's there, he's rattled the post, Dakenham gets it back, 
Oh my word, Tom Van Viet nearly scored. De Jong now running it forward at four PSV. Toivio makes the tackle, Hotic gets the ball. That could have been the goal. That could have been the Van Viet goal. Free kick for us. It's coming, Anoma's there and Room makes a save. It has just said that Ibaguran has suffered facial lacerations. Um, I don't know what that means. I mean, I'm assuming it's cuts to the face. I don't know how he's done it and I don't know if he's going to be okay. PSV coming forward with a ball into the area. We're 1-0 down Luke De Jong. I'm more concerned about the facial lacerations, to be honest. That's quite difficult to say as well. He's got no information next to him. He's not injured in any way. He's fine. Why did it tell me about his facial lacerations? Room with a free kick for PSV outside his area. De Jong doesn't win the header. Van Viet on the halfway line. Ball forward to Iba Guren. Where are you going to go? Anoma's there. Van Viet wants it if you can find him. Iba Guren gets it back. Through to Van Viet. Put it in the back of the net, Tom. Yes, Tom. This is why I decided to give you a game. Because you need to prove a point. And by scoring that goal, maybe you have. I think our objective for this game and the next game against PSV is... If we get two draws, two draws against PSV is actually not that bad. I think that's probably a, a reasonable thing to come out of these two games. Friedek gets the ball on the halfway line. Forward to Van Viet, the scorer. Can he cross in and find Ibaguren? He can. Ibaguren's there. It's just over the bar. Timon with the throw. Friedek crossed in and Noman's not going to get there. Comes back to Toivio. Dakanam, Hotic. Dakanam, make a run, son. Yes, he's done it. He just wasn't a good pass. Dakanam in the middle. Friedek gets the ball. Where are you going to go? Forward to Julian Green in the area. It's a save from the keeper. Iba Gern's on the edge of the pitch for some reason, holding his face. I assume that's his facial lacerations. Hotic with the corner. Crossed in. Toivio's there. Doesn't win the header. That man's name gets the ball, gets it clear. Valentin Konstantinupu, whatever his name was. It's Kostash. Kostash, that's his name. He's, he's a pain, partly because his name's difficult. We've made it to half time, and looking at the match stats, we have been... A hell of a lot better than PSV. They've had just the one shot on target. And annoyingly, they did score from it. I'm going to keep going. I'm really concerned about this facial laceration thing that's going on with Iba Gurren, Because it's not saying he's got any problems. It's just every now and then, he just goes off the pitch. I assume he's got like a cut on his eye or something. Ten minutes into the second half. We're not getting anything happening. Julian Green is looking like he might be the prime candidate for a substitution. Dakanam gets the ball. Ibergoen finally has some form of injury. Anoma, Hotic, Van Viet. Ibergoen's there if he can find him. Does find him. It wasn't a very good effort. Maybe he's got blood dripping into his eyes, which is making him not be able to see properly. 61 minutes on the clock. Green is going to come off and we're going to bring on... Hotic onto the uh, left-hand side, onto the right-hand side. We're going to bring on... No, we're not. Why do I do this? Why do I... There we go. Agranaga is a winger. You can play on the wing. Ibergern, he's uh, he's injured, but he's good. He's really good at the moment. He's my top scorer. 70 minutes on the clock. Josh Timmon has just picked up his fourth yellow card in five games. Sergio Pat with a goal kick over the halfway line. Ibergern doesn't want to go for the header for some reason. Kostash. Kostash cuts inside. Ramzalar. Hugas gets tackled by Anoma. Hotic. Freidek. Freidek ball out to Agwanaga. First time ball upfield to Ibiger and lovely chest down and control. Freidek to Agwanaga again. Do it, make, make a run, make a run. Or play it forward to Ibiguran. Can he cross it in? He's been tackled. Agwanaga gets it back. Crossed in. Cleared by the defender. Timon gets it back now. Freidek. Freidek to Ibiguran. Van Viet. Tommy. Bloody Van Viet. Why? Why are you good? Why? You've been very, very bad all season. Every time I've played you, you've scored twice against PSV. If we hit 80 minutes and we're still winning, we will be going defensive and I will be shutting up shop. We're on 80 minutes. Iba Gruen is coming off, taking his facial lacerations with him. We're dropping back. We're dropping back. Tom Van Viet, you're an absolute hero. Can I do... Can I just... Uh, just lump it? Go route one. Sure, just clear it. First time, just clear it upfield. Hopefully Van Viet can run onto something. 84 minutes, Sergio Pat's goal kick over the halfway line to the lone striker of Van Viet doesn't get there. Ramzala, halfway line ball out to Vesovic on the right-hand side. Crossed in, De Jong is there, headed clear by Larson. This man's name, crossed in again. Vesovic is at the back post. How? We've got five defenders. How has a fullback managed to score a header when we are playing five defenders? 
This should have been a win. It should have been an actual win. Nicolas Fiere is going to finish the match on a 6.1. He's clearly the one who's getting blamed for that goal. I've changed it to counter. I'm going to demand more. I mean, I don't think anything's going to happen. 94 minutes on the clock. Ball upfield by Sergio Pat. Bocanegra gets the ball in his own penalty area. Back to the keeper. We are well over the 94 minutes. Room through to the defenders. It is full time. It's a two-all draw at the Philips Stadion. It's not a terrible result, but we should have won. We should have bloody won this game. Edith Ibergruen has facial lacerations, injured after jumping. What? How? What do you do? I'm confused. I'm so confused. Right, so I can spend £975 and I get him some form of mask. I'm assuming that's a mask. That when when Let's have a look at our next fixtures. So we have PSV again very soon. We also have Emmon and Tottenham. He needs oh, five days. Five days or... No, use the doctor mask. Use the doctor mask. I said use the doctor mask. It's not the doctor mask. It's use the... Use the doctor, not the mask. That that makes more sense. That is going to do it then for this episode. We are going to finish it sat in fifth place in the table with a game in hand. If we win that game in hand, which annoyingly is against PSV, we will move up into third place. And we will be sat quite pretty in third place. Top of the table is Feyenoord and Ajax. Not a chance in catching them at the moment. But I think in terms of a turnaround, this, this, this is... This is very good. I'm very happy with this. Next episode, you're going to get possibly a Europa League special. So it's probably going to be the two Tottenham games. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the AZ Alkmaar game in the middle. You might see it. You might not. I don't know yet. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Football Manager 2018. If you did enjoy, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you next time.